Hey everyone, it's Angela from abpan.com and I just got a new monitor calibration. Isn't it so fancy and pretty? How I found out about it is that I went to Bay Photo and asked them to recommend a monitor calibration system and they recommended this one and I ordered it off of Amazon and it had great reviews. So I just went for it. And here I am unboxing it for you. And while I'm struggling to get that open, I thought I'd show you my old one. It's an i1 Display 2, and to be honest, I don't know if I really liked it that much. It was difficult to set up, and it was difficult to calibrate, so hopefully this new one will be better. There we go. Finally got the spider foot open. Say anything about this, it's good packaging. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what's inside. So first off we have the color calibration software and a little thank you card, de nada. And just a quick start guide. I actually didn't end up using that guide. It was really simple to use even without it. Little stand for the calibration tool. And ta-da! The actual color calibrator tool that you set onto your monitor. And here is the software that I downloaded from the actual website. I didn't use the CD to download it, but it was so easy to install and use, so much easier than the i1 Display 2. So the reason why these color calibration tools are so important to use is because I use a third-party printer. I use Bay Photo and Smug Mug, and I want to make sure that my colors are the same as Bay Photo's labs. So I can be confident that what I'm seeing on my computer is going to be the same thing that you're going to be receiving when you purchase a print. And now that I have this really easy color calibration tool, I am going to start doing this once a week every Monday morning and try to make that a new habit. I have friends in the photo department and the Smithsonian Natural History Museum and they told me they do it once a week so I figure that's a good thing to do. So here I am trying to show you the calibrated view. I can definitely tell the difference between the calibrated and uncalibrated. I'm not sure if that's coming off well through the camera or not, but if you try it out, you will definitely see the difference. So overall, I'm very happy with the Spider 4 Pro. It was really easy to use, really fast, really simple. There's nothing more you could really want out of the calibration system. So check out Data Color, Spider 4 Pro, and I will put the Amazon link down below in the description in case you're interested in checking it out. And thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. Bye.